left uh, Camp Tilmer in Elton, New Jersey, I got on a troop ship and we were going across the Atlantic. You know, I think we were on the third day out, I went and bought a box of Hershey's candy. And then all of a sudden, they spotted German subs, and they were right alongside of us. We were, we were troops. Uh, they were the battleships. They were in the middle, and then they had the destroyers out here protecting them. But the German subs got beyond them on the hills, and, and they say in about another five minutes we would have had a shell right in our bow, bow in our ship. San, so a German, we're talking like the German U-boat? Yeah, they were powerful. They were all over the place. And how, how what, what caused the U-boat to leave and not open fire on you guys? Well, ours, well, the, the destroyers were dropping depth charges. No. Uh -oh. That's my dad and mother. Um, that's my mother. They get that's they're married. They got married. And what was your dad's name again? Ivor Andrew Arbertson. Arbertson. And your mother? Mildred. And I think it's Mildred. I don't remember their, but her, her name was Mildred Arbertson. Yeah. Now she no, she was a Mildred Carlson. Carlson. He's an Arbertson. Arbertson. Did you as an engineer? Do you remember over in World War One? I think they built bridges going across the years. And he was nominated to be a honor guard in in the capital of Washington, D.C. He went overseas and he landed in La Havre. The same place you landed? Huh? The same place you landed? Exactly the same place. I went on a truck up the hill. He walked all the way up. And he got gas when he was in there, World War II. He got like gassed, yeah. like nerve gas. Yeah. Well, when I had that, I carried my gas mask all the way through Germany. Tell us about your uniform. This is the Army uh, Infantry, I think. Mean. Yep. And this was a good contact medal. And this was a. That's an infantry badge. How'd you get that? Uh, I, when we qualified on the on the range, okay, we had to shoot it at different distance. And you uh, had to the most the most one, the last one was a 500 range. So every time I pull the trigger, I put my fingers on, hoping they'd hit the target. <laughs> Oh, did you hit it? But it did qualify. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Now, what's this emblem over here? That's that an army. Second, I think it's the first army. Yeah, I think it is. And this is your rank. Tell us what that yeah, rank is. Yeah, your rank. And this is how many years I was in. So three years. And then what's this rank stand for? Corporal. Corporal. And what's this emblem over here? This is the 69th Division. Oh, okay. Boy, these jackets are heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and you, so you were part of the 272nd Infantry and the 69th Division? Yeah, we were in the 272nd Division. And so that's what that, that 69th. Yeah. And then what's the hatchet? That I don't remember. Can't remember? It's a I cool think, emblem. No, this is the division and this is the red. We left this here uh, in England, across the channel, and landed in La Havre, and then we started to go through Germany. Oh, so that's your guys' route that you went? Hmm? So that's the, the route that you guys took? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it shows. Oh, okay. Some artist did this, and it's pretty nice. It brought us all the way from here and all the way to this way. Huh? Our, sar our sergeant could speak German. 
the civilian came down and he told them there's a 48, 24, 48, up to 88s. And when the sergeant picked that information up, he told his captain, the captain took our squad and another squad to go up there and fight them, the German emplacement. Well, thank God we made a surprise attack and then we got caught with their pants down. And you're saying um, that it was Hitler Youth that was controlling the 88s? On, those, on them positions, they had a couple SS troopers for, to oper not operate, but told, told the kids how to operate. But they were 10 years old. It's amazing. What did you guys end up doing with the kids? No, they stayed in their positions and we over. We took we took the we took the gun in place. Took the <laughs> took the eighty eights. Okay. And then um she said they had SS officers that were telling the then they, Hitler youth what to do. And they went they were in a the hill there. I can remember and I don't know who the guys were, but when they walked away they, they killed them. So you guys kinda you guys had uh so a group of another division is that right? Is that the right wording? Another division had captured the SS officers and then had just told them to walk out into a field. And they opened for it. Did you guys ever have an opportunity to come across any of the concentration camps? No, I didn't. I, I'm, in a way, I, I, I missed it. I, liked, I knew it was torture. It was pitiful. But we never went. But what I seen after the war is over in the back home, what they had done it was torture. Yeah. They threw him in the fire and threw him buried in the ground. Bob, I heard that you got to go to D.C. Uh, for on an airplane. Right. They flew you guys out. I didn't know. I didn't know if I could get onto this uh, honor flight. But my Derek uh, made the pressure for me to get into this to go. Yeah, and. Uh, we, we met uh, in Chicago at 3 o'clock in the morning. Chicago, off the bus, they had wheelchairs for us. We got in a wheelchair, and then these people would push us to the airplane, get on, and then there were so many young kids cheering us, you know, to go. So when we landed in uh, Washington, D.C., they did the same thing. The kids came over there and wished us all the best. It was real striking. On a bus, and they took us to different highlights, like the museum and the aircraft uh, where our airplanes were in this building. Mm -hmm. Different airplanes that fought in the war. It was uh, where the unknown unknown soldier, mm -hmm. and they had these guys that are six foot high, about six foot four or five, and. They marched at a certain level right in front of the, you know, unknown soldier. Mm -hmm. They went so far and they stopped. They took the rifle, turned around, and came back that way, and they did that 24 hours a day. Yeah. Still doing it, I think. 